Do it again, I want to say. Look at her legs. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looked hilarious. You guys, we are in lofty pursuits in Tallahassee, Florida to have a YouTube channel that I never miss a video from and I'm so excited that I got to come in and see it. They make candy here and you can find them on the web on YouTube, Lofty Pursuits. That's Greg. I watch him all the time right there. That's Greg. Oh, cool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is where he does it. Oh, there's the hook. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've seen that in videos. I am so stinking excited. This is the coolest. This is the table that he films on. And this is where I always see people. Oh, and here's the old. Here's his old candy machines. Oh my gosh. Babe, this is where he films when he does his candy. That's his hook that he pulls his candy on. I ordered that peach candy. It was so good. Look at all the molds. I see those now, Tam. She said they were making it up. I made it earlier today. Uh, look. look at the candies. You guys, this is the... You guys, these are called unicorn droppings. Come look, I gotta tell you. So these are called unicorn droppings. And at the beginning of his candy, there's always a piece they discard as they're making the stretched out candy. These are the droppings that they... like. They call them unicorn oh, droppings. Wow. They're five dollars a bag or twelve dollars. You can bust them up and eat them. Isn't that cool? It's so it's neat. Peach. The peach is delicious. I have it. I bought it. So cool. I love it. This is the coolest thing ever. You guys, I can't believe it. It's smaller than I thought. That's what people tell me about my place too. <laughs> it's smaller than I thought. Look up there. So cool. Let's look at that. Here's the candies, and I happened to see one on his channel recently. I wanted to see if it was here, but I don't see it. Look! Look at Greg's play button. I'm so excited to see it. It's so cool. I love it so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at all his awards. Peach. Oh, sorry. The peach is delicious. We know that, right? Look at this. Me, eat, sweet, treat, compete, repeat. <laughs> That's hard to say. Timeline at Lofty Pursuits to show you the pre Lofty and after Lofty open. It's really cool. I'm totally freaking out. Isn't this cool as it can be? I just love it. Go watch his channel. You'll see why I love him. He's very, very cool. His name is Greg. He does cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Drinks at the soda fountain. She can pick out your drinks. That's so cool. But I have to look. Dill pickle. Get that for Thomas. Thomas will love that. Are you waiting? Look, I have to show this. Look. It's a Velociraptor work, uh, Velociraptor free workplace. They think I'm taking a picture, but I'm actually filming them. <laughs> oh, look at this frying pan with eggs in it. What? What are you doing, Boom Chicka Boom? You cannot do this. This is so wrong in so many ways. Okay, Boom, I'm taking you away from all of this. You want to see our sleepy people? What time is it, man? Sleepy? You're sleepy. You look sleepy. I'm We're going to be sleepy. I'm not what tired, time is it? I ain't sleepy. I don't know. Dark 30? It's dark out there. Let's see what you watch this. Watch this. It's 1049. 10 till 10, which is 10 till 9 at home. 10 till 10 at home. <laughs> I was waiting on her to do this. Okay, we're eating here, and it's Friday. I know, irony. This is us leaving our Airbnb. Let me come over here and show you my Airbnb. This is where we stayed last night before the cruise. I should have showed you inside, but we basically came in at dark, slept, and got up, <laughs> headed out. Here's everybody getting ready to go. There's old Brenda and her crew. There's the trash cans. Oh my gosh, it's the Amazon Prime truck, and I just called it old... I just caught it on the vlog. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, wave girls. I have one of 
Yeah. All right, where are we headed? We are headed for to eat. <laughs> to first. eat. Brenda said eat. we're headed to coffee. Coffee first. Coffee and then we're going to get on the plane. Yes. No, no we're going to get on a boat. <laughs> Like, Who's well, in charge of Brenda today? I don't do mornings. Like we said, okay. We need coffee. What they time need... is it? See, it's not even nine o'clock. Oh yeah, you're up early and at it. I am. All right, then. Ready to go? Let's go. So I'm just so busy. We're going on a cruise. They're trying to sing, but they're not real good at it. Right there. So, if you look really close, you can see the ships. I said ships. Is everybody happy? I said ships. That, there they go, there they go, there they go. Look, one, two, three. Ooh. Big bump. There's three of them. We're headed to one of them. Though, not the Disney. That's not us. And there's another one. I think it's the one. Oh, and there's a carnival one. I think it's the one over here, too. Maybe four. I don't think so. <laughs> that tree line's rough for y'all to be able to see it, but there it they are. Like there's another one on the other side of the carnival. Cruising. I want you guys to hear how we're greeted for breakfast every morning or lunch if you come here. It is too cute. Yummy, yummy. Good morning. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Wash, wash. Miss Brenda, what are y'all making? We are making the tag journal. Our tags, our card, it can be used any different ways you want to. But the front goes, girls just want to have fun in the sun. <laughs> These crafters are making tags in Brenda's on, Tag Your It party. And go to my Insta and stories and, and look at the highlights for our cruise and you can see all of their tags. We walked around and looked at them. Today, we continue crafting in this classroom. They are making a accordion style mini album in a box. And if you wanna see that video, you can check out um, Edith's channel, Scrapbooking With Me. She's got a video for that. Really cute project. And then over here, Brenda, is teaching tags. I just wanted to show you how the setup works. So we're in a big, big restaurant. This is called the Moderno, I think is the name of it. And you can see here, like we're not using this section, but we are utilizing this section. <laughs> and they let us come in and then of course they clean behind us. We have to be out at a certain time, but this is how we do it. So we have two classes running at a time. We This is not how we've done it on other cruise ships. We've actually had classrooms and we do have a classroom on this one but it's not big enough for two classes. So we do the um, we do it at night. We have one group in at a time. And I'll film that one and show you that one too. In this class, Diamond Dots. And they're making a card with their little ducks. And they're really quick and easy and everybody seems to be loving it. I love it. It's good. Is it super easy, Bernie? Oh, very easy and so therapeutic. It is therapeutic. I think because of the simple colors we're using on this one, that yes. helps. I think if you had like a hundred colors, it'd be tough. Okay. Yeah, but I love how it looks. Let's check out this table. And this is late night crafting. We're crafting late night. It's, we're so scandalous. It's like almost nine. 
<laughs> so late night crafting. Oh, look. Let me get it close. Look at this. It's beautiful. A guy's doing this. <laughs> That's right. I will show. All right. Tell him if you can do it, anybody can do it, right? That's right. If I can do it, anybody can There do it. you go. That's right. <laughs> Husband and wife crafting. That's what I'm talking about right there. Never heard of that. Have <laughs> Not, I haven't ever. All right, ladies, are you having fun? Yes. Yes. Good deal. Good. This is mine and Brenda's final progressive album class, and this is where we are finishing our last page of progressive album, and then doing the fun stuff we want to do in it. So everybody's got their stuff out on their table, and they're working on their albums. And the boat is rocking. <laughs> Woo! When you try to be specific, forget it. Oh my goodness. Here's Mander and Brenda. We're going to show you. We're on the back of the boat. I was trying to get mine to go live, but it's not going to do it. Here's our wake. Woo! Somebody in the comments is going to say, it's not a boat, it's a ship. I know it's a ship. I just say boat. These guys are working on their last pages and they're making a waterfall. Um, maybe two. It depends on what they want to do. Stack them up. Oh, that's that mermaid stuff. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I put my glue down. I'll put it down and then bend it up. And then I'll come up under it with the next page. Like come up here with this page. And or you can stack it on top of each other. That, that's, I'm a visual, so I have to show you. When she stacks it, it's really neat, though. You think you think you got to have them layered underneath. You don't. You can stack them and flip, flip, flip. It still works. Like flipping through pages. Three and a half, three and a half, and then score half. It's still odd that they did that, though. So... This is what we do most. <laughs> Stand around and wait for elevators. Wait for elevators. It depends though, because you have staircases, so sometimes it depends on where we have to go. We do stare at sometimes, but honestly not often. Wow, I'm shocked. Oh look. Hi guys, getting in the elevator. You know what Ben and our matching shirts? That's it. Going to fifteen. Are they riding with the, on the elevator with them? I think they can. I feel zoomed in. Let's just see what happens. She says everything. Door closing. Doors opening. Here Is we it go. Like claustrophobic to be in the elevator? Who's scared of an elevator? Tell me in the comments below who doesn't do elevators. Thomas does not care for elevators. Thomas will take 37 uh, flights, of flights of stairs. So here's when we go to breakfast. Come out here. And to this side is the pool, the Lido deck. That way it's beautiful. There's an outdoor cafe. And then this way, it's where you see our favorite girl every morning. Right, babe? You're so cute. Just wait till you see her every morning and it wakes us up. Here's one of our crafters. How are you this morning? Morning. Good. We love her. She's so cute every morning. Every lunch, too. I don't know how she does it. Oh, look who I spotted. It's a wild Brenda. It's a wild Brenda. Hello. Good morning. Are you ready? I'm getting footage for our vlog. I was showing where we go to breakfast every morning. Ooh, look at your nice, healthy oh, breakfast. Oh, yes. Mom, wait till I put the other That's round in. one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find the other girls. Oh, there's Sam. There's Lisa. Oh, got breakfast. Let's see what we got this morning. Wakey, wakey. I just found you. I just found you. Ooh. Eggs and taters and bacon. Got that croissant, though. She said it was, what, the best you've had in a long time? 
How about our shark stuff? Are we looking all matchy magic? I think so. All right, my turn. Going to get a, going to get buffet food. Look at this. We are on the 18th floor of our cruise. The 18th. We had to come up. And this is our view at Tortola. Whoa. It's fascinating. Gorgeous. Look over there. There's a ship. Well, there's boats going in the water right here. Incredible. Look down here. Wow. These are, okay, these are mountains back here, all the way back. This is stunning. So cool. Oh, cool, you can see the water slide, the people in it from up here. All right, let's go look. This is the Disney next to us, the Disney uh, Fantasy. Watch, we'll watch people go through the water slide. So there's the slide. We'll watch somebody come out right here. Right here. Oh, there they go. Oh, my kids would love that. So cool. Goofy Sports Gym. We'll look down so you can see the ship. There's the lifeboats, the yellow ones. Vince and Dave over there. I'm going to keep going around and see what I can find. So gorgeous. This is the top, the highest deck. Look up there. This city is Tortola. It's a British... Virgin Islands, I think. I think that's how it goes. Look at this tall. See them come out in the water so right there. Then they go in the building. So they go in the smokestack and then come out right here. There they come. That's cool. Wow. This is more of Tortola. I want to zoom in. So you guys can see all the colors of the buildings. Aren't they gorgeous? And look at these houses. I'm gonna zoom. I want you to see this. If you go, if you zoom into this mountain, look at that. Isn't that incredible? All the houses up on the mountain. So beautiful. I don't have this view from my room. We we have a view of the Disney ship there, so I wanted to come out here and show you guys. It's so pretty. Continuing around the other side of the boat. All oh, that pretty architecture is so pretty. I'm zooming, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. Look at that. I got across a little pole here. <laughs> there we go. Focus again. Look at the mountains in the background of the islands. We zoom out there. Look at that. And the sailboats. Oh, can you see out close to the island? Out to close, you can see the sailboats out there. Incredible. Sailboats. So pretty. This is our view this morning as we're coming into Great Stirrup K. The ocean is so smooth. I wouldn't mind if it did that the rest of the trip. And now, can you see? Let's play 
zoom in on the horizon. That is a ship. That is something. A ship or something. And we just passed a tanker, but I don't guess I can get back there. Can I see it? I got some video of it. Oh, did you? So we can see that too. Cargo. Yeah, it's gone. And then, I'm going to peek in so we can see you. Say hello. Say hi. Hey, everybody. It's just wearing his um, crew shirt today. You want to see the back of it? It says, there's no place else I'd rather be than crafting with my friends at sea. Isn't it cute? So, today is shirt day. It's, I know it's crazy to do it on the last day, but we have our card party today. So, everybody will be wearing them in the room together so we can get a good photo while we're together. And, so, just ocean. Can you believe how smooth the ocean is? And, um, the breeze is incredible. Like, it's there's cool. no humidity. It feels like fall on the ocean. I've never felt that before. Have you? It's, it's insane. It yeah. literally feels like fall on the ocean. Like, a, um, a crisp, like... For us, a crisp October morning feel. It does. There's barely a ripple on the water. It's so smooth today. He's fascinated by the water. We've been through, we've had, I mean, all in all, all the way back here has been pretty smooth sailing. I mean, some people, some people were saying it was kind of rocky for them, but I've felt worse. A little more rocky than usual, I would say. Really? I didn't think so. Couple days where you can feel the rocking. Um, yeah. I saw a flying fish walk up. That's what uh, we were talking about yesterday the flying fish. It's cool. Are you serious? Like, I didn't think they did that. I thought they just jumped. It's really pretty. I'll show you all the, the waves we're making. Mm -mm. We're also probably crawling. We're probably doing 11 or so knots, about half what we normally do. Yeah, but he could be smoking in this water. You think so? I don't know. Yesterday, we're do yesterday we were doing 21 knots. See, and I feel like the faster we go, the more we feel it. Even even not just the rocking of the boat. I, I feel how fast we're going. <gasps> the flying fish! Okay, we're going to try to catch one of those on camera. Surely there'll be more. Wish I could get dolphin. Oh, we're getting ready for, well, we're dressed now, but we're getting ready to go to breakfast. And then we will head down, uh, head, yeah, down and over. <laughs> down and back to the classroom for everybody in the room today. And the last thing we have tonight is our Till We Meet Again party. And we're just gonna get together and chat about the week and what we've enjoyed and what we've learned and things like that. And give them updates on all the kind of stuff that's coming up May May wise. And say goodbye and then come to our room and pack and have one more meal together. And then tomorrow we're back home. We were talking about yesterday, it's going to be bittersweet because we're all kind of ready to see our families and stuff, but we also have been having a really good time. <laughs> it's been really nice. Like, the events, I'm, people are probably trying to hear this talk right now, but anyway, um, the events been really nice. Things have worked well. Even any hiccups we had really were better. Like, you know, we thought um, we had what we thought was two classrooms that seated 20 people apiece, but it turned out to be one good sized classroom when we opened the divider. So, yeah, it turned out to be one classroom that sat 20 people when you opened the door in and, the middle. And put tables in it because it was, it was tight. But we also had a restaurant on the other end of the ship we could use until three o'clock every day. And that's turned out to be great. So all our day classes have been done in the restaurant. You've probably seen videos from that. It's probably in this vlog. All our day classes have come from there. And um, our night classes have been in the other room. And night classes have been split 
in two groups, so it worked out well. It really has worked out well. Today we go to the private island. It is called uh, Great Stirrup Cay. Is it great or grand? It's great. I think it's great. And usually, if you if you don't know about cruising, usually when you go to a private island, you do something called tendering, and that's where the ship will anchor away from the um, shoreline because there's no port, there's no dock, and it anchors away from the shoreline. And then you take a tender, which a lot of times are lifeboats like this. And it may not be. It depends on what they have on the at the island. Like sometimes they have a tender from the island. Um, but you'll get on a tender boat and you will ride over to the island and then every 15 minutes they have tenders going. So you can go, come back, go, come back, whatever. And I think we're there till six o'clock tonight. So 9 a.m. this morning to six o'clock tonight. And uh, that's, Amanda's really looking forward to that because that's what she waits the whole trip for is the private island. She loves the beach. She finds herself a hammock and she has a good old time. Anything else you wanna to say to our friends before we say goodbye and go to breakfast? Go to breakfast. Yeah, we will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. I showed this on Instagram, so you might have already seen it. But this little boat, let me get my hand in the screen. This little boat that's right here is what's called a tender boat. T-E-N-D-R. It's basically a taxi from the ship to the island. You see there's the another tender going in. They have a tender going. There's two of them. They run every 15 minutes. So one coming, one going pretty much all day from nine to six while we're here. And that island is the private island for Norwegian. Um, a lot of the cruise ships have their own private island. Like, I think this is the third one I've been to, but um, and we didn't go over there. We've been so many times over there. We didn't go. Amanda and Amber and I think Tamitha went over there and they probably had a great time. I haven't seen them since they got back, but that's how that works. So I wanted to show you the tender. Let me zoom in. Because I want to show you what happens when it gets there. In case you've never been on a cruise, I think these are cool things to see. So if you can see that little opening in the rocks to the right-hand side, that's where the boat's going to go through. And trust me, it's much bigger than that than, you know, than it looks on camera. Look how beautiful. He just rides right in there and drops the people off on the island. So today is our last day. So we're here until 6 p.m. tonight. And then we head out. And from what I can tell on the television... We're only 300 miles from Port Canaveral, which probably means we're much closer to actual, like we're probably much closer to Florida. We were talking about that. We're probably really close to Miami at this point. I just don't know exactly where this island uh, lays. Lies, lays, lies, I don't know. So there he goes, he's gonna drive in that little hole. I'm very zoomed in, so I'm trying to be very still, but it's hard. We've had a great trip. Our last class was this morning from nine to six. We did our card party. We had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. And then tonight we have our uh, Till We Meet Again party, which we're also affectionately calling the to-go party. Um, and that's where we get together for an hour and just kind of give information about things they can expect and you know what's coming up with May May Made It and um, talk about how the trip was, anything we can change for next time, et cetera, et cetera get people's information so a lot of people make friends on this trip and they become friends for a long time and cruise again later and things like that so they kind of have a time to catch get phone numbers and things okay check this out this is the private island while we're zoomed in you see those blue things those are chairs lawn chairs or umbrellas and there's the little slough we call that a slough but it's probably a bay or something that's the beach and then going down there's more things on the island you hear that sound that sounds like a bird let me zoom out it's not a bird it's the tender, the tender boat rubbing on the ship. So as they get it ready and it kind of rubs against the ship, it makes that sound. How incredible, right? So pretty. So stinking pretty. All right. Let me go this way. I'll show you something. So let me see if I can lean out without losing my phone. That's the, the goal of the whole thing. Um, that little ship right there, I think you can see that looks so tiny. That is a celebrity cruise line. And that is their private island. And it has water, uh, looks like water slides and things like that on it. That's actually a private island. It doesn't, it doesn't look great on camera, but it's really pretty in person.
So this is a menu in one of the restaurants. And on the cruise, you can pick any anything you want, as many as you want, whatever you want, you know? So like, if Brenda's sitting beside me looking at the menu right now. And I get more than one appetizer <laughs> and a bunch of desserts. <laughs> or at least I get most of the desserts. They just take turns, they just order one from the other. So this is our last night on the boat. I'll show you what the appetizers are. So there's grilled caramelized onion flatbread. I'm not reading all of these, you can see what they are. And I don't know what I'm having yet. Probably that butternut squash soup. And then down here, they have their classic entrees, which are available every night. So you can choose from these any night. But then up here, we have, here we have the today's featured entrees. You can choose from any of these. Oh, salmon, duh, did I not see that? That's what we're having. And then down here is the wine recommendations, which I don't really do. And then later we get a dessert menu. I'll show you my company. Can you be on camera? Can you be on YouTube? So this is our company tonight. Here's Vin. Hey, everybody. What did you say? Hey, everybody. Oh. <laughs> we have company. We have an empty seat. Thank you. <laughs> I can't do all this in one time. Oh, no. Empty seat. We have Brenda. Look over here. Y'all want to wave at your table? Hello. This is the first time we've had to split up tables. Don't faint, she might get a salad. Look at this room. Look at this. Now sometimes that middle line is blue on that light. And look, we're in like an atrium. So you can see all the floors. There's the arcade. I don't know what's up there. Um, back there, you can see into the dining room. There's some stained glass back there. Pretty cool. And look, this is where people are lined up waiting to get in. Julie got our reservations. We don't have a Julie. We just joke that Lisa's our Julie. I'm sure you'll hear about it. That's it, guys. We're leaving our ship. There's the top of it up there. We got off. We got our luggage. It was not really that bad. We had to wait a little bit, but that's because we decided to be rogue and leave early. <laughs> we'll see if we can get out early. There's the parking deck where our truck was all week. And here we go, heading out. Are y'all ready to be home? So yes. you're asking us that question? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, getting in the car, it's like, okay, done. Now, if one of y'all could just trickle your nose and, and we could be there, Sea Town, I'd be happy. I'm just happy we're not doing Miami. We're not that far away and that far down. Because it would take us four hours to get to here from Miami. So at least we got that. We don't have that to do. All right, let's look at the port one last time. Here it is. There's the. Disney ship that was with us. These three ships traveled together the whole time. Did y'all notice that? Like everywhere we went, these three ships. <laughs> Isn't that a Christmas song? I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas <coughs> Day. Something like that. It is, I think. There's a parking deck. That's fun to look at. Okay, so here they are. So that first one is the Disney again. That's the Disney Fantasy. And then that second one is the Carnival Breeze. And then when everywhere we went, it's pretty cool. I like this port. It's it's nice and clean and easy to maneuver. Don't you agree? The, I don't know. I think it's pretty easy to get into, too, because some ports can be really confusing. All right. Now for the trip home.